Fox 2 News starts now. It's a tragic story we've been following. A pit bull attacks a baby girl, then the ambulance breaks down on the way to the hospital. And sadly, that baby died. And tonight, we're hearing from the newborn's mother for the first time. Fox 2's Alexis Wiley, live right now with more. Alexis? Ron and Robin, this mother is in just so much pain right now. But she wants people to know the truth about what happened inside that house and why no one saw this coming. I lost everything. Everything she was, everything she could have been. Tati Lynn Luciana Bowles was Mari Ramirez's first child. She loved her. She was with us just three short weeks before her life was stolen in what her mother calls a terrible tragedy. It happened Thursday evening in this home on Detroit's west side where Mari and her baby were staying with friends. I put my child to sleep after feeding her and set her down in a car seat like any mother would set her car seat on the floor because she didn't like her bouncy seat. Maddie says she saw no problem with that because she was nearby and the homeowner's two-year-old pit bull was not in the house. The dog was either always outside in the yard or downstairs locked in his kennel. But somehow the dog got into the house and attacked Tati Lynn. He wasn't growling. He wasn't... It, it just... He just had her. Just told him, no, let her go. Please, just let her go. Stop. Let her go. But the attack was more than any newborn could stand. Sources tell Fox 2 the ambulance that was supposed to rush her to the hospital had engine trouble and couldn't go any faster than 40 miles per hour. Tati Lynn was pronounced dead at the hospital. Madi and the dog's owner say the attack came without warning and the dog never targeted any of the owner's children. What was this dog like? He was... A big old baby. He was a baby, but a baby as in did he was he ever aggressive towards you? Did you ever see him behave aggressively? Never. He never did. Ever. The pit bull is with animal control and is expected to be put down. The dog's owner tells me she has no problem with that. Meanwhile, in the midst of her grief, Madi wants other mothers to realize that attacks can happen within a matter of seconds, and she prays this does not happen to anyone else. No one should have to see what I see now. No one. Now, Funeral Home has offered to pay for the funeral and the burial, but Monty and her family are raising money to buy a headstone. They held a fundraiser tonight, but they still have a ways to go. Ron? Tears your heart out, Alexis. Possibility for any criminal charges at this point? At this point, from what we're hearing, it doesn't look like anyone will be charged criminally. This just appears to be just a horrible tragedy. Alexis Wiley, live at our newsroom. Thank you, Alexis.